And just like this, folks, there it is. We got chicken kebabs for dinner. Hey everybody, Pirate Chef here, and today we're making chicken kebabs. Quick and easy, delicious every time. Uh, we've been kind of eating kind of a healthier lifestyle, ketogenic, kind of uh, low carb. So this is perfect, right up our alley. It's meat, it's veggies, it's healthy, and, uh, and it's fast and easy. So watch along, here we go. <laughs> All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our vegetables for our kebab here. And I just take whatever's in the fridge. I make it real simple. And I cut it nice and big. And the reason I cut it big, uh, one of the things you'll notice, you know, we're making chicken kebabs. And you gotta cook it a certain amount of time because if you don't cook it long enough, it's not gonna be cooked all the way. So knowing your cooking time for that, I like to adjust and cut my vegetables thicker. And what that does, when you cut them real thin, they shrivel right up. You end up uh, not having enough. Man down. <laughs> you end up having some charred veggies. This way we cut it nice and thick. These are going to cook through nice and tender. And they're not going to break down, fall off your skewer, any of that nonsense. So that's what I like to do. I like onions, mushrooms, pineapple. Today we've got some squash, zucchini, and uh, a little bit of some other stuff so we're just putting that in our dish we're gonna get this all marinating all right now this is just for my wife and I we got a real nice chicken breast here uh, that's just because we have it that's not typically what we'd use uh, she likes chicken breast but I cut nice chunks I don't want these little teeny pieces cut them good size and uh, you know typically I like chicken thigh myself Gordon Ramsay definitely has some opinions on this topic. So, nice big chunks. You know, I don't need it to be real small, but these are gonna make great kebabs. Then, all of this is gonna marinate together real nice. Now, obviously, with marinades, the longer the better. Typically, if I can do this the night before, that's ideal. But even if you're only going to get a few hours on it, a marinade, just a simple marinade, can do so much more for your dinner. Really step it up. Take it to the next level. And again, there's nothing hard about this. Trim off some of this fat here. Wife doesn't like that. I like it. She doesn't. <laughs> All right. Perfect. All right, so once everything's in there, uh, we're gonna put a little simple fast marinade. Now I like to do a teriyaki sort of Hawaiian style, soy sauce, ginger, brown sugar, and garlic. <coughs> but today, I'm in a hurry. So we're just doing some minced garlic and a vinaigrette. This is a white balsamic, this stuff's great. Any kind of a balsamic vinaigrette, you know, it's just getting that flavor on your food. And this is quick and easy, guys. Anybody can do this. It doesn't take much time. And once you get that on it, all I'm going to do is we're going to put a lid on and we're going to shake it up. Keep our mess to a minimum. And that's it. We're getting it in the fridge. Let it sit for a couple hours. It'll be great. All right. So a couple hours before you're ready, uh, get a container, something big enough to fit your kebab skewers. And uh, I'm just using a pitcher. And you're going to put that in there. I'll, I'll throw the lid on it. But you just want those to soak for a few hours. And that way the sticks don't burn right up. And you want to flip them around and make sure you get both ends keep that from just becoming a matchstick so bonus and uh, we got a few more hours to wait 
Looks like a good time for a rum break. Wicked Dolphin. Hey, great spiced rum, by the way. I've been loving this stuff. Oh, man. You're going to love it. Hit it up. And uh, we'll be back a little bit later to make our kebabs and grill them up. See you in a bit. <laughs> all right. So now we're back at it. We've been marinating all day here. Looks good. Nice and juicy. We're going to give it one quick stir. Yeah. yeah? Wave to everybody. Say hi. We're going to give it a quick stir around and then we're going to go ahead and make our skewers here. And this looks great. I remember our earlier tip that I gave you. Make these veggies nice and thick so they don't just crisp up and burn away on the grill. So now our sticks have been soaking for a few hours so they're not going to burn now. And this is easy guys. All we're doing, we're taking a veggie, putting it on, taking a chicken, putting it on, you know, rotate it, get us a little bit of flavor. Onion. And again, you can make these with anything you got handy. They're just easy as can be. Real tasty, real fast. Nice big chunk there, onion. Yeah, bud. That's it. I, That's what we're making. Yeah, bud. I got you another stick. Oh, and here we go. She's got me another stick. We'll make another one. Yeah, bud. There are three people. All right. So here, here we got our skewers, six, just like I was shooting for. And we're going to go ahead and just take our dressing here, our marinade. And we're going to pour it right on top. Just like that. Real simple. And now, we're ready for the grill. Here we go. <laughs> Yum. Can't wait. We're outside now. we got the grill fired up nice and hot. And we're just going to go ahead and put our shish kebabs on there. Now, one of the big things, uh, basically the gist of it is when you're cooking on these, if it's sticking, you don't need to turn it yet. So once it gets a good cook on it, then you'll be able to turn it. You'll be able to work with it a little bit and you'll be good to go. We're gonna get that on a decent heat. Now you gotta watch these because nobody likes a burnt kebab and these can get away from you. Now once they're on, even though they're marinated, I like to give it a nice seasoning. Garlic salt, I use it on everything. And we're just gonna hit everything, kick it up a notch, give it that flavor make it that much better and uh, there it is check it out we're gonna take good care of these and uh, probably be about 15 minutes we'll end up turning the heat down a little but get a good cook on them and they're gonna be delicious <laughs> we'll be back in a bit <laughs> all right so when you're cooking your kebab make sure you rotate them because they can get caught up real quick in the flames and you don't want to be too heat, uh, too hot. What happens is if you use a marinade that's got an oil base, that'll really flare your barbecue up. So keep an eye on it, keep it rotating. I know you want to hurry and rush it. Just take your time and make it come out nice. Yep. This is what we got, folks. Check it out. We're cooked nice and even. Got a good little bit of char there. Veggies are cooked. And we're just going to throw these on our plate. Woo! Hot! And just like this, folks. There it is. We got chicken kebabs for dinner. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Pirate Chef, we're going to get some more videos out to you. Let me know what you want to see. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, let's, let's get cooking, guys. You can do this, too. It's not hard. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs>